If the most astute among you did the math correctly and insinuated that I would go to bed at 7 o'clock at night only to get 8 hours of sleep till 3 o'clock this morning to get up to run an 11.7 mi 11 mile run, you are almost correct. I actually went to bed at 9 and woke up at 3 to run an 11.7 mile run. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on 6 hours of sleep, completely exhausted from running 11.7 miles in freezing rain. Seriously, though, if you guys are, like, driving or, or running outside, be careful. I actually had to, like, sort of run penguin style in a few areas just to make sure I didn't fall. With that said, I am all ready to go. I am so pumped for this weekend. And all I can say is, happy Saturday, everybody. So, throughout the week, actually throughout this entire football season, everybody's been making their predictions about who is going to go to the Super Bowl. And at this point, you know, we are in wild card weekend. And believe it or not, my beloved Cowboys are actually in, as some of you may very well know. With that said, I didn't plan on this necessarily. So, because of that, now I have to change a few things in terms of what my prediction is going to be. So, without further ado, like many of the pundits online, on NFL.com, and all those other you know, sports-related channels and websites that are also making football predictions as well, I'll do my own Super Bowl challenge, thank you very much. Now, I do not have any clipboards or magnets or stickers, so you are going to have to take my word for it <clears throat> in terms of who is, in fact, going to go to the Super Bowl. Now then, let's start with the AFC. We have the Colts versus the Texans. Now, both teams, miraculously, beat my Cowboys. I don't know how, but they did. In fact, because of how the Colts were able to beat the Cowboys, one could argue that since they did a better job against the Cowboys, they will win. I do not believe that because I do believe that the Texans still have J.J. Watt and Deshaun Watson. It goes without saying, the Texans are going to blow out the Colts. They should anyway. Now let's move on to the other game in the AFC the Chargers and the Ravens. Now, let's get one thing out of the way. I do like Lamar Jackson. I do. I admire that he replaced Flacco. You know, and Flacco, from what I hear, has been kind of... I mean, I really have no idea what Flacco's thinking. The point is, I did root for the Ravens to win the... Uh, their conference. In fact, honestly, the only thing I was legitimately wrong about in terms of the top four teams from each division is that I picked the Titans to win that division and not the Texans. Well, I guess it was close. Both teams do begin with the letter T. With that said, however, Phil the one thing that's holding Phillip Rivers from legitimately being in the Hall of Fame is a Super Bowl win. So, for the sake of argument, believe it or not, I'm going to pick the Chargers to win over the Ravens. Plus, I will admit, Lamar Jackson really isn't very smart. I mean, he legitimately almost flunked out of college. And they had to dumb down the offense just so he could, like, play football. Which is about the only thing he can do. So, in a surprising turn of, turn of events, I'm picking the Chargers over the Ravens. Now, how about we move on to the NFC. Now, of course I'm going to root for my Cowboys. The Cowboys are, ha have a, are going to finish this fight. They have a fight to finish. They are going to the Super Bowl, and they are going to win. But we'll get to that a little bit later. With that said, 
Yes, everyone's saying, oh, Russell Wilson's a Super Bowl champion, you know. This team wasn't even supposed to go to the playoffs. They were supposed to, you know, rebuild, and yet they're here. Yeah, um, the Cowboys are on a revenge tour, and for the most part, they've succeeded. They got the revenge on Philly, twice. They got the revenge on Washington, on Thanksgiving, no less. They got revenge on Atlanta for what happened a year ago. And they got revenge on all the naysayers and doubters who thought the Saints were going to completely blow them out. There's just one team left to go. And that revenge is going to be had tonight. So, yes, go Cowboys. Now, that just leaves the final game this weekend in the wild card round. That is the Eagles versus the Bears. Now, everyone knows I hate the Eagles. And it's been 10 years, oh, well, not 10 years, since 2010, that the Chicago Bears have been in the playoffs. So, with that said, for tomorrow's game between the Eagles and the Bears, I am picking the Bears! The Bears! The Bears! I'm going to keep them right here. Yes, I'm picking the Chicago Bears to go to the uh, NFC playoff round, I guess. So, yes. Now, let's move on to next week, what my predictions are there. Now, since the Chargers would therefore be the lower seed, they would have to play the Chiefs. And as some of you, as I have said in the past, one of the members of the 16 of the right, the coaches that is, is actually a Chiefs fan. So for that coach, I'm going to root for the Chiefs for that particular game. Sorry, Philip Rivers. Oh, well. And now that just leaves the Texans and the Patriots. Yeah, Tom Brady is going to make everybody remember why he's the GOAT. And against the Texans, that's exactly what he's going to do. So, yeah, the Patriots are beating the Texans. No problem. Now, how about we move on to the NFC? The Cowboys would then have to play the Saints. Yeah, the Cowboys aren't going to lose. The Cowboys will shock the world. They will shock the world like they did against the Saints last time, and they are going to do it again with even more gusto. So, yeah, the Cowboys are being the Saints. And then there is the Rams and the Bears. Surprise! There's going to be another upset. The Bears are going to beat the Rams. That's right, baby. We're going to have a Boys-Bears NFC Championship. Now, we'll, I'll get to the results of that uh, later. So, now we get to one of the rematch, the possible rematch of the century, the Chiefs and the Patriots. And once again, it'll be a scenario where Tom Brady proves he is the GOAT. Sorry, Chiefs. It was a good run. But, yeah. The Patriots are going back to the Super Bowl. So, you're probably wondering. Well, everybody is still going to be doubting the Cowboys. I mean... The Chicago Bears have Khalil Mack, the veritable monster of the Midway. Funny you should say that, because a lot of people don't realize this, but Dallas actually has a monster slayer. Hmm, yeah, they do. His name is Tyron Smith. Yes, Tyron Smith will be in charge of stopping Khalil Mack every step of the way. And it will be for that reason that the boys... After 23 years, I believe, they're going back to the Super Bowl. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we get to it. After years of losing to the Giants when we're 13-3 in the playoffs, after years of watching Tony Romo choke, the Des Bryant catch no catch, the crazy stoppage by Aaron Rodgers, and the fact that no, and the whole nonsense of Zeke getting six-game suspension, which never should have happened, by the way. 
we get to the showdown that was always meant to be. The Cowboys and the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Now, you guys are probably wondering who I'm going to pick to win that game. Well, there's a lot of speculation as to when Tom Brady is going to retire. I actually have a theory about that. Tom Brady is looking to retire when he feels he has found a quarterback worthy of being his successor. Not on the team, just overall. And that will come when Rain Dakota Prescott leads out my beloved Cowboys to a Super Bowl championship, hoists up that Lombardi trophy, and is crowned co-MVP along with Ezekiel Elliott. Yes. In fact, I do believe that Dak Prescott will hoist up that Lombardi trophy and say, can this be cut up in 53 individual pieces? Because he, will, he would give each and every single piece to his own teammates to his brothers, to his family, the Dallas Cowboys. So yes, I am picking the Cowboys to go all the way to the end. Man, I'm so excited for this weekend. Go Cowboys! Woo! Still kind of early. I mean, I know I'm all alone, but you know, I just want to... It's the little things in life. But yes, I am picking the Cowboys over the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Again, it was the showdown that was always meant to be. Seriously, it should have happened when the Patriots almost went undefeated. It should have happened when, unfortunately, it should have happened when the Patriots went to the Super Bowl and lost to the Giants again. Of course, that was Tony Romo's fault. He made everybody go to Cabo when he had, like, the week off because of the bye. Seriously, I got really, I'm not the biggest fan of Tony Romo. Which is which I find sad because I think he's kind of a nice guy. You know, again, there was the Des Bryant catch, no catch, which is now a catch. Haters upstairs in the NFL. There was that crazy debacle left wide angle field goal shot from the Packers. And then there was the whole Zeke getting suspended for six. Seriously, Zeke doesn't get suspended for six games. It's the Cowboys in the Super Bowl for Super Bowl 52 and not the Eagles. And everyone knows this. The Eagles just got really, really lucky. And the Patriots would have lost to the Cowboys then too. Because the Cowboys would have been ready. Now you guys are probably thinking, Nick, it's the playoffs. The Cowboys haven't won a playoff game in years. Aha, but I have a theory about that. See, even though Tony Romo didn't start against Green Bay the last time we were in the playoffs, he was still on the roster. We lost because he was still on the team. But Tony Romo is not on the team anymore. We are free. The curse has been lifted. We will move on. We will win tonight. And I will be very, very sad if that's the case. If we don't lose. If, if we win. Ah, if we don't win, if we do not win, I will be very, very sad. Expect me to be crying a lot tomorrow if that's the case. So, yes. I like to say I was a very fair, very unbiased opinion as to who is going to win the Super Bowl this year. I like to think so. <laughs> so, those are my picks for... The entirety of the playoff, feel free to agree, disagree, if you like or whatever. And for those of you who are wondering, I actually do have a Cowboys jersey, but to my knowledge, no one by the name of Cutler has ever played for the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, Jay Cutler did play for the Bears. So, yeah, I am wearing a Jay Cutler jersey for this. Although, if any of you guys are wondering, the Bears are going to be my backup should the Cowboys lose, which they will not, because the Cowboys have a fight to finish, and they will finish it. So, um, like, favorite, share, and hit that subscribe button, I could really use the support on YouTube. Follow me on the social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Tumblr and Twitter. And as always, I am very humbled I made this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today. I am hopeful that we all have a wonderful Saturday, wonderful wild card weekend, just... It's a good day overall, 
And remember, for any of you guys that want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here to lend an ear, and I will always most certainly have your back. So take care. You think you're going to win tomorrow, tonight, right? I should probably go.